Hey guys, welcome to Lesson 10 Fluency. We're going to be practicing our decomposing of decimals, and that's going to help us solve our math today when we're working in our multi, multi-digit multiplication. And we're going to start be working with decimals in our multiplication now. So let's go ahead and practice decomposing decimals. Now, I just want you to think back to a lesson where uh, it was one of our first couple lessons where we were taking a number, well, let's make it 63 and 2 tenths. Um, let me label my place value chart. One is tens, hundreds, and I'm going to put 63 and 2 tenths inside of the place value chart. Now, you're not going to have to do this when we're practicing the fluency. I'm just doing this as like a little mini lesson so that you remember what we were talking about. And remember, we could decompose these numbers into the tenths place, basically shoving them all, all those digits into the tenths place and calling them tenths. Remember when we said, well, six tens and three ones is really 63 ones and two tenths. Because if we remember, if we're going, when we regroup, we'd regroup those tens of ones to the tenths place. So we're just going backwards of our regrouping and we're decomposing. So then that we could then decompose all those ones as in tenths so it would be 632 tenths, right? So that's what I want us to practice here with our numbers um, in this fluency practice. And we're going to decompose them into different parts. So oops, let me go back and erase that. Now, this is the part where I'd like you to take notes and, and work with the numbers I'm working with. So if I write this decimal on the top of my page, 7 and 463 thousands. Let's go ahead and number bond this. And if you remember number bonds from elementary school, it's a, just a way that we can decompose the number into different parts. Well, I want to decompose this into ones and thousands. So what digits would I, oops, thousands, would I be putting into each of these bubbles? Well, remember, for ones, we'd go all the way to the ones place and stop. What digits are in there? Well, it's just seven. So it's seven ones. And then if we were to decompose the rest of the number, the rest of the decimal into thousands, we take the rest of the digits all the way to thousands place, and we know that that's 463 thousands. So we can decompose that. Well, let's go ahead and same, same decimal. Let me just back up a little bit. We're going to still be working on seven and 463 thousandths, but instead of breaking it apart into ones and thousandths, let's go ahead and break it apart into tenths and thousandths. Same idea. So remember, see if you can get it before I put the answers down. Basically, you're thinking if we're decomposing to the thousand or tenths, think of all the digits all the way up to the tenths place. Well, that's 74 tenths. And well, the rest of the number is going to give us our thousandths place. Well, that's 63 thousandths. So 7 and 463 thousandths really is 74 tenths and 63 thousandths. Great. Well, what do you think I'm going to ask it? Whoops. Undo. Undo. There we go. So let's go ahead and still the same decimal we're working with, but instead of breaking it into tenths and thousandths, Let's go ahead and break it into hundredths and thousands. Hundredths and thousands. Okay, so we have hundredths and thousands. So if we, same idea, underline all the way to the hundredths place, that's our 746 hundredths, and we're just left with three thousands. Great. Well, this time I'm going to give you some of the numbers. I'm not going to walk you through it. I want to see if you can get them yourself. Let's go ahead and work with eight and 972 thousandths. Um, let's go ahead. I want you to try, well, let's skip ones and thousandths. I want to see you break it apart into tenths and thousandths. So decompose this back to tenths and thousandths. Well, I underlined all the way to the tenths place, so it's 89 tenths, and then I underlined 
the rest of the, the digits to the thousands place, so it would be 89 tenths and 72 thousandths. Well, let's go ahead and change this to hundredths. Let's, let's decompose this into hundredths and tenths. Same thing's true. Underline all the way to the hundredths, 897 hundredths and two thousandths. Now, what if I just asked you to do, just decompose it into the thousands? Now, same steps. You're just going to underline all the way to the thousands. Well, that's every single digit we have because the thousands is our smallest place value. So 8,972,000. Okay, good. Let's try another one, last one, and then we'll go to our uh, problem set not problem set, our concept development. And we'll practice some of these multiplication problems. Now, let's decompose this into, let's start with ones and thousands. So go ahead and finish this for me. Well, if I underline this number to the ones place, all I'm left with is a six one. And then the rest of the digits underlined all the way to the thousandths place is 849 thousandths. Great. Let's do it with tenths and thousandths. So as I'm getting this ready to show tenths and thousandths, you should be thinking about how to decompose it. Well, we decompose the first part of the number all the way to the tenths, the rest of the number thousandths. So it should be 68 tenths and 49 thousandths. All right, last one I want you to do on this one. I'm just going to clear it and rewrite this fraction or decimal. Decompose this just in two thousandths. Well, underlining all the way to the end. Well, it's 6,849 thousandths. All right. Okay. Today we're going to be working with decomposing numbers into the tenths place because. Um, we're just starting working with multiplication with our fractions and our decimals. So if I asked you how many tenths is 28 and 4 tenths, you're going to be able to convert this to 284 tenths. And let me just show you quickly with a uh, place value chart. I'm going to put my decimal here, 1 tenth. Here's our ones and our tenths. So 28 and 4 tenths would also be 28 ones and 4 tenths or 284 tenths, right? As we decompose into the smaller place values. Great job. So we're done with the fluency practice. Let's go ahead and get our notes ready to take our concept development lesson and practice multiplying with decimals. See you over there.